We have been through some incredibly tough times together. It has been a heck of a two-year ride. And uh, as we fought to keep the state from going over a cliff, uh, your support, encouragement, and your prayers have certainly been what has been most important to me to allow me to lead through these tough times. But it's also been important to everybody in this house, and it has helped us to get through this time period. I'm very proud of our House, frankly. I'm proud of our level of bipartisan cooperation and what we've accomplished together, the way that we get along across the aisle, no matter what our political perspective is. We know that we are all in this fight together to make sure that we can improve the quality of life for all of California, but also to get through such a tough time. And I want to thank, uh, in particular, the Republican leaders, former leader Mike Velines, and current leader Sam Blakesley for their cooperation and, and spirit of friendship that uh, as we have sat together through many, many hours of negotiations uh, and the way that we all worked and cooperated together. And so it has been my pleasure to serve. And uh, frankly, I look forward uh, shortly, not too soon, of moving into a, a new status where I'll be Speaker Emeritus. And I have to tell you that uh, when I worked through transition with uh, former Speaker Fabian Nunez, I was jealous for that role. That seemed like a really nice, really nice role to be Speaker Emeritus. But uh, I do want to tell you that uh, I've been told that Emeritus is, is a Latin word. And uh, for me, that word is going to mean that I'm not going to leave this building until I find some justice for foster kids. So thank you very much for the honor of serving. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>